Right now my goal is to get to my first 100 subscribers by the end of this year. Not by like next month, not by the middle of this year, not by May, not by even October, but by the end of this year, that's what my goal is, to get to my first 100 subscribers. It is currently February 17th, 2020, 12.04pm at the time that I'm recording this, and I have 11 subscribers. When I look back into the future, or when I look back from the future to this video, I want to remember how much I've grown if I continue doing YouTube. Well, Harpy, from two and a half months ago, we did it, buddy. We did it, man. We passed that 100 subscriber milestone that we never thought would have been possible to achieve before the end of this year. So for those of you that subscribe to me, first of all, I just want to let you guys know a little bit about me, and then I'll also tell you guys how much it means to me, and how grateful I am, and how appreciative I am for all of you that did subscribe to me. So if you guys haven't known, my real name is Bosleo Daba, and I go by the name The Harpy Eagle on YouTube. The reason why I go by the name The Harpy Eagle is because that is actually my favorite animal. And so I thought, you know what, since nobody is named, you know, like, The Harpy Eagle, why not me be the first one to do so? And so, if you guys look back at my oldest video, the first video that I ever uploaded onto YouTube was February 8th of 2020. I have never had any previous channel before this. I have never had any experience whatsoever on how to make a YouTube video. I did have, you know, just like prior knowledge on editing and video editing and stuff like that. But in reality, that was all just simply like very, very basic. Like the, the knowledge that I had back then is absolutely nowhere to the knowledge that I have now. It really isn't. And I'm kind of an introvert. And, you know, it's not the easiest thing for me to do when, you know, you just literally started a YouTube channel literally, you know, less than three months ago. And you've already gotten a video that's about to reach 10,000 views. And you've got over 100 comments on that video. And a bunch of them are like, you know, most of them, like about 99% of them were positive, you know, there was like 1% of people that were like kind of negative, but there was, there was one comment that was actually really bad, but I'm not, like, I'm not gonna like, you know, be discouraged by it, because you know, everybody has haters, you know, and so the, the best thing is you can do is just to simply avoid them. And, you know, when you just first start out, it's not the easiest thing to do, to just, you know, take all that in and just have so much pressure on you the fact that you literally just started a youtube channel and now you've already gathered the attention of nearly 10,000 people i don't know about you guys but that seems super insane like just think about it 10,000 people that's literally like one fourth of a stadium that's how many people i've gathered the attention of within just a matter of th less than three months, actually. And I'm brand new to YouTube, too. I mean, that's a lot of pressure, but I was willing to handle it. I was, I, I, was, I was willing to accept the fact that this is what you're going to have to face um, once you become, you know, if you, when you truly want to become a content creator. And that's what I want to do. You know, my dream is to be a YouTuber. And... You know, I, and I never, I truly, I never thought that I would be able to reach this milestone in such a short amount of time. And I'm just so grateful for it because I, I already know how difficult it can be to start YouTube, especially at this time now when you already have 
millions of YouTubers out there that do vlogging, millions of YouTubers out there that do gaming, millions of YouTubers out there that do reviews and all these type of things. And sometimes you can feel like it's just too saturated and that it's literally impossible to gather any attention or to gather a crowd at all no matter how hard you try because you just feel like it is literally impossible to gather an audience in this day and age of YouTube especially with all these problems that youtubers are facing now with you know like the big three of YouTube uh, UMG, WMG and Sony copywriting everybody left and right for something that is completely BS it just feels like the entire world is against you in, in terms of YouTube. It feels like the entire YouTube world is against you when you start YouTube this late. And hopefully I can, you know, be the the symbol of... <laughs> not <laughs> symbol of hope like Endeavor. Hopefully I can be... The, but, like, literally, hopefully I can be the symbol of hope to people out there who are too nervous to start YouTube in this day and age because they feel like it is too impossible to start YouTube to begin with now of course I've got a long way to go you know 100 subscribers is like nothing in terms of popularity uh, but I mean that's still a big feat for any small youtuber out there that just started YouTube especially within just only a course of three and a half months that is absolutely astonishing and I'm just so proud of myself I have every right to be but of course I always want to stay humble as possible as always like I want to always stay humble because at the end of the day it's you guys that helped me reach that milestone I truly truly believed that I was not going to reach 100 subscribers until the end of this year no way in hell did I think that I was going to reach 100 subscribers before we even reached halfway through the year before we even reached halfway through the deadline. And this isn't going to be the end. We're still going to keep going. The channel's still going to keep growing. I'm still going to keep growing. I haven't, I haven't even been on YouTube for a year yet. There is still so much for me to learn. There is still so much for me to improve with, both as a YouTuber myself with my on-camera performance, as well as my production and my editing skills. There is still so much more for me to do. I still have so much more plans for this channel. And I'm just so grateful that you guys can be there with me along the journey. And who knows, maybe some of you will even grow up with me in that case too. And I'm, I'm just going to be so grateful when you stick with me this entire time. I, I, I'm truly grateful for that, everyone. And I know, I, I know, like absolutely more than a million percent, that the reason why people are subscribing to me is only because of my Jump Force review video. But that is completely fine with me too. Because you know what? The fact that people clicked on my channel to see what videos I actually upload, the fact that they still subscribe to me even though they know that my channel isn't a Jump Force channel or a anime review channel or just a review channel, review channel period, they still subscribe to me. That means there had to be, there had to have been something about me that they just simply loved more than the video, more than the topic of the video, and that they subscribe to me because of me. And it just boggles my mind how they could have done that, especially with a game that I'm playing right now, like Street Fighter V. It's it's not the most popular game in the world right now. But but here's the thing. Hear me out, Street Fighter v fans. <laughs> I'm not trying to downplay Street Fighter, I'm not trying to say that it sucks or anything, but I'm like, I'm just keeping it real though, it's not, it's not the most popular game in the world right now. But the fact that people still subscribe to me though, even though I played a game that isn't really that popular, it's just, you know, it's so heartwarming. That's the reason why I don't care that people subscribe to me only because of my Jump Force review video. Because I know that at the end of the day, they're going to feel like it was worth it once I start becoming better and once I start to become more entertaining with my videos. Once I start to do more than just videos that are within my comfort zone. Because I'm going to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of within like my comfort zone when it comes to recording videos. But, you know, through time, I feel like I'm going to, you know, step out of that comfort zone. 
And when I do, I know that I'm gonna get out of that comfort zone at full blast. Because of you guys. And the confidence that I gain from you guys. The hope that I get from you guys. The hope that it's still possible to get big on YouTube. The fact that the fifth video that I ever uploaded on YouTube got over a thousand views within just a month is just absolutely astonishing. And another thing about that is the first comment that I ever got on my Jump Force review video was by a guy named Colin Luby. When I read that comment, my heart stopped. Because when I made that video, I didn't even have 20 subscribers. But he still knew. He still knew that there was something more than just the number about me. It was the passion. The passion to make the videos. The heart and, and dedication into making this video. Now, I, I know, the video is not the best in terms of quality and, you know, uh, sound quality, video quality, all those type of things. But don't worry, I'll fix those. And actually, I said this to one of the people that commented on that video, that I'm actually planning on making a revised review on, on, on the video. And trust me when I tell you this, when I make that video, it is going to be so much better. In every aspect. In every aspect. The way I explain, the way I conclude my thoughts, the sound quality, the camera quality, everything like that is going to be absolutely astonishing. Because you guys have to remember, I just started YouTube when I made that video. And so, that's the reason why it's not the best. If I had made that video now, oh my goodness lord, it would have been phenomenal. It would have been ten times better. And the fact that people still, they still said that they loved my review. And that they subbed to me just because of that crappy review video that I did. Well, at least to me. Because when I compare myself now to then, I feel like it's a crappy video now. Back then I did not. I absolutely loved it. But now that I know that I could have done it way better, the fact that people still loved it makes me just so grateful and so humble. That people were still able to appreciate my work because even though it was pretty bad, people were still able to appreciate me for the work that I put into this video. And I truly thank you guys for that. And I'm so thankful that when I did YouTube, because you know, so many people when they start YouTube, they start YouTube with so much disencouragement from, you know, their outside life. From, from just, you know, their outside life in general. Because, you know, some of them, they might have, like, parents that don't believe in them. They might have, like, friends that don't believe in them. Or just friends that aren't supportive at all. You know, or anybody that's mentoring them, being a mentor and guiding them on what to do and ways that you can improve. And I'm just so absolutely grateful and blessed beyond doubt to have a loving family that cares about me. I mean, here's the thing though. I mean, my family, they still don't know that I have a YouTube channel. But I'll tell them eventually later on in the future, maybe once I get to like a thousand subscribers. Um, I also had such supporting friends that I consider brothers, you know, Juan, Joseph, Oscar, uh, Abdullahi, Abdi Rahman, and Aryan. <laughs> Aryan was not only like a brother to me, but he was also like a mentor to me. He helped me so much, even, like I said this before in my Congratulations Kaji video, like even before I started YouTube, he was still already giving me advice on what I can do, and... You know, and it's not even just with the YouTube it's, itself, it's even with things like thumbnails. Like, the, the program that I used to make thumbnails, I would have never known what it was if it wasn't for Kaji. So, in general, I had already such a loving and supporting system and foundation around me. And that is also another thing that encouraged me to keep going emotionally. Mentally, it was seeing where I would be a year from now, or two years from now. Or seeing myself in my prime as a YouTuber. And I'm just so grateful to you guys that subscribe to me. I'm so grateful to my friends, my brothers. I'm so grateful to 
you know, the people that advised me, guided me through the ways. I'm so grateful for, you know, being with a family that I love and who love me as well. And this isn't going to be the end. We're still going to keep going. Once again, guys, I really do appreciate all of you. And we're going to keep on going from this point on. Once again, this is the Harpy Eagle. And until next time, guys, take care of yourself.